since my mother is apparently a little less embarrassed by me than my daughter is, um, she has asked me to read her remarks to you. Um, hello everyone, this has been an amazing day and I want to thank all of you for being here, for speaking and for listening and for laughing too, which means a lot to me and would surely have pleased Jerry. A million gazillion thanks to Rux for making it possible for this to happen, and most especially to those who planned and organized Ernie Lepore, Randy Gallistel, Rochelle Gelman, Sue Cosentino, Alan Leslie, Brian McLaughlin, Joanne Milley, and Sarah Pixley, and to David Rosenthal, who at some point became an honorary member of the team, helping to translate my incoherent suggestions into intelligible proposals for Rux. Thanks to all. And now, while I'm thanking you all for being here, offering your love and support, I would really like to thank the family for being our family, Jerry's family. May I do that? Jerry's son, Anthony, who spoke this afternoon, and his wife, Sandra, Jerry's daughter, Kate, and her husband, Michael, and the grandchildren, Isabel, Ainsley, and Lucy, who, I think, knew that this grandpa of theirs was somewhat eccentric, even before they knew the word. <laughs> eccentric and entertaining. Also with us is Iris Fodor, Jerry's first wife, whom some of you know. She has been a good friend and support for me for years. Thank you. I want to end with a Jerry joke, a small one compared with some that we've heard today, but it has special meaning to me because it showed that his sense of humor, his wit, his sense of humor and his wit were with him still when all else was difficult. He was sleeping one afternoon in his study, and his health aide and I were gossiping beside his bed, gossiping about Trump, as one did then and still does. Among other appalling behaviors, his threat to people in the United States from, quote, predominantly Muslim countries, that if they left the U.S. for any reason, caring for an ailing grandma, you name it, they would not be allowed back in. When Jerry woke from his nap, I suggested, let's get you into the wheelchair and we'll go out to the living room and watch a movie. One split second, and Jerry said, okay, but if we go out, they may not let us back in. <laughs> Thank you.